Okay guys, here it is. The Dillon RL550C. I've waited a long time to do this load series. So what do you say we do this? We do a Dillon RL550C machine setup and then we transition right into a full 223 Remington load series. So for this series, which you can expect, for this video I'm going to show you the contents that comes with the Dillon RL550C. And then on the next video, we'll get our Dillon 550C machine set up onto our inline fabrication quick change system top plate. And then from there, we'll get the 550C all set up. Then we'll install the caliber conversion kit. Then we'll install the dies. And by the end of this load series, if you've also followed along with your load data manual and read what you need to read, you'll be shooting your reloads at the range and you'll feel confident, okay? Very safe, right? So, in uh, taking a look at the contents of our Dillon RL550C, at the very top of the box, you're going to find the two most important pieces in the box. This is what they are. The first one is get ready to reload. When I looked at this, I realized Dylan has studied the market. They've studied the customer. Why? Um, I know how I learn is through reading and pictures, right? It's how the human mind works, right? Especially with reloading when we're only referencing, referencing really quick. So this is something you're going to want to keep next to your manual all the time. But now I want to say this. Um, this comes with um, uh, running my channel since, since 2013 and talking with viewers. Right here. You need to keep that next to your machine. The reason is, is in this manual is the listing of every piece on your machine. What I would never do is if I had an issue with my machine that I couldn't figure out, I would never call Dylan and say, I've got a problem. This this thing is not going all the way back and forth. Dylan can't help you, right? But if I called if I called Dylan and I said, you know, I've got an issue with my operating rod. It doesn't seem to be going full travel. Now they can help me. They know I have an issue with the operating rod. So, um, make sure you keep this next to your machine. If you need help, whether you are going to call Dylan or whether you're going to go on to a forum somewhere, know your terminology so when you ask for help, the uh, person on the other side knows what you're talking about. Okay? So, keep those by your machine. So the next thing you're going to see uh, in your box, here we go. This is going to tell you when your primers need to be refilled. It has a battery. Don't lose it. We'll get that assembled onto our machine when we get to that point. Right here. Your primer pickup tubes and all your pins and all new plastic tips and there's a spring in there and then if you look closely there's this uh, thing in there no that's not a thing that's an operating rod see we're learning terminology that's the whole point the point to this series isn't just to get you set up so you can shoot the point to this series is so you know the terminology for all your parts the, for the best that you can right doesn't mean you're not gonna have to refer to your manual from time to time but also so when you're shooting your your own reloads at the range, you feel confident, right? The Dillon handle. Extremely massive handle. Uh, I, I love the Dillon handle. The uh, nylon uh, jam nut, I love that. It's going to stay put. They got the hole going through the, the center there, so you can run, you know, you want to run a punch through there and hold it, or, or one of the hex wrenches that they provide, you can hold it while you tighten that jam nut, okay? So, uh, very nice handle. Next we have the accessory box. In this, if I remember right, we're 
going to have a completed cartridge bin. We're going to have a completed cartridge chute. We're going to have things like die lock rings, your hex wrenches, and so on. As we progress through, we'll open this and we'll start utilizing the parts that we need. So follow along. The next, remember I told you guys terminology. Terminology gets lost at the most basic level. Okay? I had someone say, well, when I put my powdery stuff in that class thing that holds it, oh, guys, this is a powder measure. This is a powder hopper terminology, right? Okay, so Dylan powder measure. I love this. I love the fact that it's a straight vertical drop, shift, drop. I love it. It's a great setup. Very intelligent design, okay? So there's our, our powder measure. And then when you pick this up, be careful. Pinch point, okay? Um, you see, you get what I'm saying? There. Okay, so this machine. This machine is going to give you um, the ability to precisely load each component down to the level you want. If you want to size all your cases and check them for perfection, you can. If you want to run straight through and resize on the go, you can. Uh, this machine capable of 2,500 to 3,000 rounds a month. Uh, this is a great machine, okay? And it's only dependent on you um, indexing it uh, manually as you go. So it's not going to fail you, right? So very, very uh, nice machine. Now, for your box, um, I would highly suggest you save this. Uh, Dylan, in my opinion, does the best job of packaging their machines. What I like about this, down the road, if you decide to move, you know, residence or you need to send your loader back to have it rebuilt because you did 10 billion rounds on it, right? Which it, we know it's capable of that at least, right? No, the, the Dillon loaders, um, if you if you wear it out and you need to send it back to Dillon, you have something to send it in. For all my machines, I keep at least one box that will fit that machine for Dillon, so I'll make sure you keep this. Um, that's uh, pretty huge. So. There we go. So, what do you say on the next video? We take our machine, we get it set up on our inline fabrication quick change system top plate. All right, we'll see you on the next.